Hello and welcome to Battlefield 4 Armory. I'm your host Draco and today we'll be looking at the 5 brand new weapons from the 2015 Weapons Crate Spring Patch. Besides the new game mode Gunmaster, DICE LA did many changes with the patch on 26 May 2015. Besides tightening the spread of shotguns and giving almost all of them a green laser to equip, they also scaled down the stats of most weapons. For example, the 100 damage rating on sniper rifles is now 88, and my SAR-21 assault rifle lost 10% of its stability. Even pistols got scaled down, worsening the damage, hipfire, accuracy, and so on. Also, they worked on the effective and suppression distances of the weapons, changing as good as every play type that was there before, more or less. Also, they changed the headshot damage multiplier to make two-shot headshot kills possible for all weapons, even pistols. And because they made some changes on the weapons, they also had to reset half of the loadout, so better prepare that before you go into the battle. To compensate this, DICE decided to flew the players, at least me, with a bunch of gold battle packs and, as said before, five brand new weapons which are available to all players for free. These weapons are the Assault Rifle AN-94, the Carbine Grosser 1, the PDW Grosser 4, the LMG L82A2 and the, so to say, DMR Mare's Lag for the secondary slot. In this episode, we will have a look at those five weapons and see what they can and how effective they are. The AN-94 is a Russian assault rifle with a 30 round magazine. It has four spare magazines and shoots 545 by 39 mm WP ammunition. In comparison to most other weapons, it has three fire modes, which are semi, two round burst and full auto. Its rate of fire are 600 rounds per minute in full auto and 1800 rounds per minute in burst. Its base stats are a damage rating of 24, an accuracy rating of 67, a hip fire rating of 78, a range rating of 45 and a stability rating of 71. The Grosser 1 is a Russian carbine with a 30 round magazine. It has 3 spare magazines and shoots 7.62x39 WP ammunition. It has 2 fire modes, semi and full auto and a rate of fire of 725 rounds per minute. The base stats of the Grosser 1 are a damage rating of 26 and a accuracy rating of 35 which means that it spreads very much, a hip fire rating of 63 a range rating of 37 and a stability rating of 19 with a high vertical recoil. The Grosser 1 is considered to be a close quarter weapon and has a fixed compensator and vertical grip attached to it which cannot be changed. Another version of this weapon is the Russian PDW Grosser 4. The Grosser 4 also has two fire modes which are semi and full auto and with a rate of fire of 700 rounds per minute it is slightly slower than the Grosser 1. The base stats of the Grosser 4 are a damage rating of 23, an accuracy rating of 65, a hip fire rating of 75, a range rating of 24 and a stability rating of 40. It also comes with a fixed suppressor attached which cannot be changed. Moving on, we have the American Light Machine Gun L86A2. It has a 30 round magazine and comes with 7 spare mags and shoots 556 by 45 NATO ammunition. As the Grosser 4 before, this LMG has two fire modes, semi and full auto, and a rate of fire of also 700 rounds per minute. The base stats of the L86A2 are a damage rating of 24, an accuracy rating of 55, a hip fire rating of 67, a range rating of 45 and a stability rating of 42. The last weapon on our list today is the American Mare's Leg. 
which is similar to a designated marksman rifle with the difference that it fits in the secondary slot of your soldier. The mare slag has a capacity of 6 rounds and comes with 24 spare rounds making a total of 30 shots until you run out of ammo. It has a single round reload like some shotguns and fires .44 magnum bullets. Since it is a lever action rifle you have to chamber another round each time you shoot. Its rate of fire is unknown but its bullet velocity is 520 meters per second. The base stats of the mare's leg are a damage rating of 52, an accuracy rating of 15, a hip fire rating of 23, a range rating of 37 which is pretty decent for a secondary weapon and a stability rating of 18. In comparison to all other secondary weapons, the Mare's Leg can use almost all primary attachments with the exception of a heavy barrel. It can also have a long range scope but only the 40 times magnification ballistic scope. It is good for medium to long range engagements but struggles in close quarters due to the rich chamber time. So, I hope you enjoyed my video about the new weapons in Battlefield 4. If you like it, press thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more of such videos, just let me know in the comments. This is Draco, reporting for duty.